What the heck? Do I have some zombies down here? Gosh, this is... <laughs> this is embarrassing. I lit this place pretty well. L looks like it's coming from behind this painting? Oh. I had no idea this was here. Man, the noise is getting louder. There must be one heck of a zombie down here. Oh, oh my, oh my gosh. It's coming from the empty tomb. What, but what? What's in here? Oh! Uh, oh! Are, are you a zombie? Hello? Oh. <coughs> Hi. Uh, Ren? Hey! Rendox? Hi! What's happening? What's Dude, happening? What are, you, what are you doing in this grave? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know what's just happened. Wait, Dude. what? Where am I? I, I mean, I, hon I honestly don't know. I had, you... I had no idea this was here. Wait, are you on the Hemocraft? Are we on the Hemocraft server right now? No, What's no, happening dude, here? dude, this is the Empire's server. Y you've... What? A bunch of hermits have ended up here. This must be some kind of side effect of the rift. I, I wonder why it put you in here. This is kind of <laughs> wild. <laughs> okay, so that's what that massive rift thing with the Grumbot machine and everything did. They put us onto the Empire server. Great. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. So, so everybody's been showing up in different places. The kings of old are supposed to be buried here, and uh, oh, right. You, you, you kind of, <laughs> you kind of fall into that category now, my dude. Well, I'm not, I'm not king anymore. They yeah. took it away from me, Pixelrus. They defeated me. Uh, they, they my own vault. They sure did, but oh, this. Oh, the shame. It, it kind of seems like you've been given a second chance right here, though. It does indeed. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, this is where where sausage was buried. Yeah. Um, R.I.P. Well, I mean, he's still kind of alive, but it's a long story with sausage. You'd probably have to get that from him. Uh, but okay. There's there's some mysterious magic going on around this place. So yeah, the mm. fact that you're here can't be a coincidence. I I think there's I think there's some pretty hefty lore involved. Probably. <laughs> I mean, I could just go back to the Hermocrafts over there, right? And just go through the portal back, well, back there. Is, uh, it, is this, like, opened up now b about, between the servers? About that, Ren. Um, yeah? Th there's, there's some weird stuff that's been going on, and I've been investigating it along with a team of other capable individuals, but it seems like the rift has kind of gone dark on this side, and uh, no, what, no, what? Nobody's, nobody's been able to get back through. The people have tried, but the hermits what? are kind of settling down here and trying to figure some stuff out in the meantime. Ah, oh, the fresh smell of another server it's <laughs> glorious pixel roofs yeah. uh, to be fair though i haven't really smelt any other servers so yeah this server smells particularly good I yeah i mean say. i mean have a look glorious. around get get used to it smell the air and i expect nice. it's better than being <laughs> buried down there under the the roots and dirt and everything um yes indeed i had a root in my mouth which was not pleasant <laughs> yeah not <clears throat> not the greatest so now yeah. you're here i guess um we better get you yeah. set up with some stuff, right? Like, do you need some food, first of all? You must be hungry. I guess. <laughs> this is like a... Bre this is literally the first time that I've played on another server since I joined Hermacraft, like, forever ago. I'm thinking, being a professional Minecraft Pixel Rifts, you know, an absolute professional. <laughs> of course. I want to do this legit. First time on the server, I'm going to do this legit. I want to go out there and do the, do the Minecraft thing. I don't want anything. Maybe just, like, some chests. So that I can store stuff in it. Oh yeah, okay. I, I've got plenty left good. over. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I have a few yeah. left in in here. My little like storage hole in the wall here should have yeah some empties. So I can I can grab you some of those. Yeah, you know, people out there they they think that we're not professional Minecrafters. You know, they think that we just like how we don't dare know how they? to play this game. How, how dare, dare those they? people, right? <laughs> Come on now. P point me in a direction. Um, can I go? Just go this way. Yeah. Um. Basically, nobody way? has really explored the western side of the server. Oh, like, pretty much everybody went right. east from spawn. So th this is basically the furthest point west that anything has been built. So if you head out that way, there's going to be a bunch of like fresh caves, new trees, like all of that stuff Excellent. that you need to get yourself started. Well, Pixel Rips, my friend, thank you for exhuming me. <laughs> I'm very are. pleased to very be welcome. on this server. Slightly disturbed that we can't get back though. But uh, maybe we'll try to figure out if there's a way to relight that portal. There's got to be, right? It, yeah, I mean, we... Turned on? I mean, if it's turned on, if it was originally turned on, that means it can be turned on again. Absolutely. We've got the smartest <sighs> brains in Minecraft currently working on it, and some of the people from Empires as well. So hopefully it'll work out again. <laughs> All right, Pixel. We'll hopefully see you later, and hopefully I won't die. Best Wish of luck, Ren. <laughs> Take Bye. care. Bye. Azuma, welcome to the ancient capital. Good to see you. How you doing? It's good to see you too, my friend. I am well. I'm doing squished. <laughs> you're a you're a little bit shorter. We need to line this up, and that's 
That's so strange. Oh. Like, I haven't met any of the hermits since the, the machine has been in operation, but it, it, is, it is just noticeable. There's something just not quite the same about you, which is just really, really funny to me. Yeah, it's, it's like really weird pressing F5 and then also opening up my inventory. I always notice, like... I'm just a little bit squished. Yeah, it's, it's when, unavoidable. When, when you've been doing what we do for this long, I think it's it's kind of funny to, when something changes so slightly, but you still you still notice it. Anyway. Yeah, someone someone playing for the first time wouldn't notice a thing, would they? Yeah, they really wouldn't. Yeah, that's quite funny. Uh, come on in. So this is my storage system, basically. This is where, I, where I've been storing all of my stuff. Some of it is automated, some of it is manual. But down here is the thing that I think we want to we wanna talk about today. I've been creating okay. a, a secret tunnel down to this, but I haven't figured out the door mechanism yet, and so everybody's going to know about it before it's a secret. But I see. If if you come on down here, this is my copper aging facility. Oh, so <laughs> I love the name of it, and I love the look in here as well. There's copper a, aging facility. Its nickname is David because Copperfield. Um, and my <laughs> my my original copper field in Empire Season One was just like a literal field that I started placing copper manually, and then I thought that's kind of boring and yeah I, I wanted to automate the process somehow so i i developed this machine is it sort of ready for us to give it a test it is yeah the if problem is mistaken, yeah. i i don't have a huge amount of copper left so i can grab oh. a, a little bit of it but i need to um i need to go and get some of the the regular copper and i only have a couple of stacks of cut copper that i made by accident basically i think at this point i'm looking for people who want to come and age their copper in my machine or maybe mass produce copper in some way that's something i could help you with right you, you know hermit craft well you are the <laughs> voice of the recap you have seen the amount of uh, copper i mean pixel i've been afking on on there a lot and uh i've got double chests upon double chests upon double chests of these blocks wow it is, it is ludicrous all you need to do is hop up here and press the the button on top of the redstone lamp you can do the okay. honors and it should all head off and the circuits will grab the copper blocks on each side, and the counters will start counting. Oh, I see it snagging blocks into the side. That's yeah, so yeah, cool. that's the best part. The best part is just watching it pick up the blocks as they go. Is it gonna? Is it gonna pull the blocks out automatically then? These two droppers have shovels in that are doing the counting. It counts the first one when the copper block oh, gets yes. put in, and then if I put three shovels in the bottom dropper, that block gets ejected from the circuit. The circuit gets switched off so that the copper block isn't going to do anything when the flying machine comes back. And when it's done that for every block down the row, the flying machine returns automatically, grabs them all as it goes, and then pushes them out this way. That's absolutely genius. <laughs> <laughs> everyone says that. I'm very happy that everyone's, like, as enamored with this machine as I am. Have you thought about a sort of easier way to place everything? Like, one, one thing you could do next is uh, maybe set up these rows of, like, Wall, so that there's more a more efficient way than you just sort of like you know ambling along and placing it or maybe you have one of those um like piston tape feeds where you're just standing over here pressing all of the copper blocks right into one spot and then a bunch of pistons move them all into the correct place yeah have I, you thought of doing something like that yet I've, well? I've thought about that and i've thought about having something to remove the copper blocks after they're done aging so that it takes them away to like a blast chamber somewhere oh, so yeah. that you don't have to do the mining i do want to try some of that stuff in future iterations of the machine it's just so much engineering and i've got so few pistons left i can see one here is aged yeah, yeah, Back, a couple of them. That means the, there's one down there that's and... already like halfway to being oxidized. Like it's it's already on the third stage. So that one's just got one uh, one counter left, and Over it's good here. to go. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm massively impressed. This Thank is you. this is a really awesome contraption. David. <laughs> David, yes. <laughs> David is awesome. <laughs> now, now you're on first name terms. Um, let's talk about the yeah. the copper farming opportunities because we know you've got that design. Yes, it's uh, an Ian XO4 design, and and his his work is just amazing, right? Mm -hmm. So, this is going to be a farm where it won't take us long to build it, but every like everything else will be the adventure, and then you'll just have this amazing farm that just absolutely pours copper ingots into your inventory dude i can't awesome. i can't wait i'm using copper for roofs in my my ancient capital around here because it, it yeah. feels it feels like an old block you know so I, I had to build with it again and it just kind of makes sense so i i would love to get tons of copper let's do it best place to build this would be in the void in the end because it does tax the server when you use it so you try and use it when no one else is online yeah mm -hmm. but you want it in a place where nothing else is loaded so if it's cool with you we're gonna be 
luring zombies out into the void across a bridge. It'll be uh, quite some fun. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah, I'm I'm on board with that, definitely. Uh, we will have to, like, go out into the void, right? So yeah. we need a bunch of disposable blocks, which I didn't actually bring with me. I got all the other stuff. Do you have, like, a chest full of uh, stone or something we can turn into slabs? Yeah, I got some here. Yeah, zero and zero are these two spots. Mm -hmm. So if you take a side, I take a side, and we both hold down shift. We just want to go out until we can't see the main end island. Mm -hmm. And this is always terrifying, even though I've got wings and... You've got a... Um... <laughs> I've got swift sneak, yeah, sorry. All right, my friend, take a look around. We are in the void of the end dimension. We sure are. Gosh, this is, like, mildly scary, but uh, we've got a plan right here. Oh, we do. We do. What we're going to do is... Oh, no! No, Azuma! Oh, I'm actually okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a, just a oh. bit just a bit to uh, scare the people at home. What we got to do is, like, drop down because this thing needs to be lower. How are you doing? I'm You're doing, doing that one over there. Yeah, I'm doing this one over here. I'm using the double slabs because I have so many Prismarine slabs, I didn't have enough full blocks oh, for this. Oh, yeah. So. Got to remember to use that for I, sure. Uh, why Prismarine? I just have so much of it uh, from the Love Tropics event where we, we had a ton of... Uh, Prismarine going in for like paths around this ruined ocean empire that we built. I raided Joey's Prismarine store, which he uh, foolishly said at the beginning of the series that I could basically have infinite access to. I did leave a couple of things in there as a as a thank you, so he should have a little That's bit nice. of compensation for it. Alrighty then, time for an update, I guess. The Big grand update. reveal. <laughs> we've yeah. we've done all of that, and it's it's looking tremendous. It's all very technical. I don't quite understand it yet, but I like the look of it. Yeah, well, first of all, you've got this platform here, which is actually where, like, nothing actually spawns on this bit. It's just a big box, basically. The glow lichen blends in so well with the prismarine that you barely know it's there, but that's what's keeping this yeah. whole thing lit up. That's a good point. There's a few bits of it. So where the uh, zombies will actually spawn will be in these spaces right here. Mm -hmm. So it uses the zombie reinforcement mechanism to, like, keep bringing them into the middle. So you then have a spot to, like, stand and hit them, which is actually done by hitting that armor stand with a sword right which so you reminds me sweeping edge and stuff for that right yeah i've got a present for you I'm oh taking care of this <laughs> i love i you love getting presents two very fancy uh swords on you when you use this oh interesting there's a farming mode one and a culling mode one nice that's cool that's right so farming does what it says, but culling, occasionally you get too many zombies and drowns in here, so you sort of kill them off a bit. Right. I love a farm that and gives me too many farm. zombies. That's yeah. <laughs> always a good sign. <laughs> but when you turn that on, it does something really, really important, which is it cycles these minecarts here through over and over again. And what they're going to do is they're going to pick up all of those swords and armor that the mobs drop and also the copper, which reminds me of something we forgot to do. Oh, we need to program uh, we... the item filters, don't we? Yes. <laughs> yes, you need to put copper in there. And then you'll get chests upon chests of copper down the bottom here, which is pretty cool. Wow, I can't wait, dude. Like, we've got so many chests here. I can imagine this all filled with copper. My machine is going to be very, very busy after this. The next thing we need to do is bring zombies over here, right? Oh, and the name I reckon tags. you want to bring about you want to bring about 10, really, mm -hmm. to have like, a good shot at getting this thing going. So I did get some name tags to stop them despawning. That is why we have... Uh, this long walkway over here mm -hmm. so that we can lure them across. Yeah, well, that's going to be an adventure in itself, so uh, let's go mm. do it. Hello, Mr. Azuma. <laughs> Welcome back to the Stronghold. Um, Hi. As you can see, busy. I have been busy. I have five zombies trapped in here, but as I was looking around, I, I, I found a dark corridor in here that gave us our first zombie, right? And then right. I went back to that same corridor in the hopes that more stuff was going to spawn there, and I heard some zombie noises through the wall. Do you want to come with me for a second? <laughs> All right, what's going on? Is there like a spawner like right here you, or something? You are, you are not going to believe how convenient this is, my dude. Around the end here, I started hearing zombie growls, and I thought, oh, oh, they're coming from above me. So I dug up. If there's a zombie spawner around here, that would be pretty incredible. No. <laughs> oh my gosh, played for and got. X is not going to believe this. There is a zombie That's... spawner right there. Um, That's amazing. So what I've now done, I decided what I would do is just dig a tunnel all the way back this way, and it's literally like 30 blocks. That's absolutely amazing. Drop the zombies straight into the end portal. I set up a, a trap door right here, and you just open that up, and they'll drop straight through. That's just brilliant. Wow. <laughs> it, was, it was the most convenient thing that's ever happened to me in Minecraft, I think. It's pretty great. Yeah. That's some exceedingly good luck. See, I guess we're playing a little game of, like, lure the zombie then. Yeah. The rest of them, I think we just need to... Uh, 
lure a few more, I'll name tag them once they spawn, and then maybe you can be in the end to receive them, and we'll go from there. I don't think you actually need to worry about, unless someone else is like going to the end dimension, you don't need to worry about them despawning if you've given them an item or a name tag, right? Yeah, I was more thinking about just they're not being... 12 zombies on the platform when we go through to the end ourselves. You only take a couple of hits at once. Okay. You'll have like a totem of undying and then you'll, you'll run away immediately. So pushing through a whole bunch at once and going through together isn't so bad. If, if you're happy doing it that way, I'll trust you. Well, here's the thing. Like if this fails, like this is so convenient that you got this here because... Yeah, you can get Ooh. zombies back very easily. I'll let you uh, I'll let you do the trapdoors. And then I think just after that one more round, the ones you got down there and we're good. Yeah. There we go. Look at those suckers. Straight nice. through. <laughs> Find, like, around the edge, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. That's can... why they did the under the knee. Yeah. <laughs> a one punch will be fine. <laughs> Give them a tap and throw them in. Just just don't use your sword. <laughs> yeah. Playing a, playing a game of uh, yeah. musical chairs going <laughs> yeah, I, around I, here. I feel like there should be, like, carnival music happening or something, you know? <laughs> this is the doorman. Come on, buddy. Nailed it. Nice. <laughs> worth, worth chucking those in your offhand, having one in your hot bar. Probably not even going to use it, but just... Yeah, you know. yeah. So we're going to jump through and you're going to take damage. The trick is really just not to panic and mm -hmm. to, you know, head out of there. We didn't really like create much of a path. Yeah, that's we just what... had like a... <laughs> we have yeah. a one wide staircase up there. That's part of why I'm concerned about this. Okay, I'm going to try and... All right, let's, let's jump in. Let's do this. All right. Ah. Okay, I went quickly. <laughs> yep. Oh my God, my health has gone down very quick. Yep, okay, okay. They're following you. They're following you. I've got one good, on good, me good. at that most. That was way more than I expected. Way more. Yep, there goes my shield. Oh, I've got four of them up here. Just, just head out of there. I'm, I'm, go, I'm coming up. Can. I'm coming up. Oh, they've turned around. They've turned around. X. Need any help? Uh, well, I'm dead, so I need to head back. Oh, you to died. The... Yeah. I didn't see. Oh my goodness me. Okay. Oh, he's got your wings. Um, <laughs> and he's got your sword and your shovel. Yeah. That's interesting. I figured that might happen. Yeah, some of them might have my armor as well. But if you've got the invisible armor resource pack on, I'm gonna need to take that off to see which one's which. Yes, you will. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. It'll probably be something like that. Anyway, it's not so bad to recover now, is it? Yeah, there's all the rest of my stuff. Okay, so this one's got... Oh, do you have sweeping edge on your sword? Uh, I don't on this one, no. Yeah, you want to use a critical hit. Yeah, on I... the one you need to kill. I mostly want to make sure that the one behind doesn't end up picking up more of my stuff, so... If you press F3 and B, just make sure you hit them with a critical hit. Yeah. And not the boat, and then you only got to attack one at a time. Oh, and I see what you mean about the one behind. It might pick up the items. Yeah, well, that one's now sharing a boat with an Enderman, and I've got my Elytra back, so that's the important part. Right. Oh, I'm thinking mm -hmm. if you separate them a little bit, then you've got less chance of these ones over here picking up the axe. There you go. Yeah, I've got the axe. Perfect. The Endermen don't mind the water when in the boat. No, they're fine with it. Go on a little boating holiday. All right. Well, we've got... I think that's all of my stuff back. I think I'm okay. I think I'm back. Nice. All right, then. So we're going to mostly be walking all the way across that platform. And then when we get to the farm, we essentially just want to go next to where the glass was under the slabs and just go down into the killing chamber. Right. Are and you you're staying behind them? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think uh, that might be That's happened. That might be how this has happened. I can always fly ahead and then uh, catch up. That's true. Yeah. Uh, since they're all on me, if I go into the AFK area, they might turn their attention to you. So I should probably so, be down there first then, right? Yeah, that sounds about right. I have uh, set up the item filters as well, so we've got copper ingots in oh, the item nice. filters now. All right, well, we are more than halfway there. I can see the farm fading into the into view in the distance, so you're yeah, doing... Yeah, I got, I got the end islands fading out, so... You're doing very, very well. Keep it up. Thanks. I mean, I've trained for this a long time. <laughs> this is the Rocky montage of you training, like... Carefully, uh, carefully tapping shift, letting yeah. go. Having having zombies follow you over mountain passes and bridges and stuff, yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's amazingly easy to lure them somewhere with a little bit of preparation, though, right? You've done very well, yeah, and they, they've, they've obviously uh, had a bit of training themselves. My, Minecraft mobs are just very primitive on some hands. Mm-hmm. You know, if this were a different type of game, these zombies might be like, "Hang on, what's happening here?" And yeah, they'd all be lurching towards you special in moves. different platform, uh, di different patterns, and yeah, different movement styles. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna hop ahead of you because the farm is basically here. And yeah, I'm I'm expecting a step up. Yeah, I can see now we've got three wide plat. There it is. All right, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna head down to the storage system, so I'm well they're, out of the way. They're all on. Um, one thing you could actually do that. Oh my god, I've gone the wrong way. Okay, that's fine. You're going to lead them around, yeah. Uh-oh. Um, they've sort of split... Oh, this is bad. This is bad. 
Are they dividing right, and conquering? I'm going to take a little damage, and that's fine. And you're ah, in. Right, yeah. One thing I might need you to do is to fly off and uh, destroy the platform they came in on, right? Right, yeah, that makes sense. But possibly not yet. So I'm going to use cheaty cam. You might want to do the same. They should they should be heading into this spot now. Shift and get yourself into where that armor stand is. So now this, which you put on the barrel mm -hmm. or in front of it, that's pushed it all the way in. So you, you go into that space and let it push you right up to the front. And that's when you want to use that clicker that I sent you. That looks promising. Now, I don't know if you've set up your free cam so that you can fly around while you're using actions, but um, yep. that would be a way to see what's going on here. It seems it seems to have stopped. So yeah, it looks like I not. can't do yeah. that. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. You might want to bring a camera account on. Now, I am guessing this is working. It I'm sounds sure like the drowned are being some... attacked, yeah. I want to see some reinforcements spawn now. I see so they're many... All, they're all in there. I see so many shadows. Yep, you've got reinforcements. You've got the one. And another. So it's like, and and a couple more. This is going to pick up pace pretty quickly. Okay. <laughs> you've got like a, a stream developing. So one thing you might want to do is just ask uh, Fwip how, many, how much it makes the server lag. Like, yeah, yeah. I got this thing finely tuned, which is what I've built for you here with the smaller platforms, so that it doesn't tick lag on Hermitcraft when other people are on. Um... Might be a bit different over here. In which case, you can make the platforms a little bit smaller. You know, put some trapdoors down or something to block them spawning on a few of the spots. But basically, it picks up pace the more mobs you get in the middle, right? Sure, yeah, because every time a zombie gets hit, if it has a chance to spawn reinforcements, it's going to. And you're doing, like, minimal damage to it. <sighs> did you see a whole bunch of them just die? Yeah, I did. That was probably the original 10. Uh -huh. So, like, here's, here's where, like, can it sustain itself now is the question. And I think the longer you spend loading the area, the local difficulty goes up, which also adds to the effect. Right, yeah, that makes sense. So, we haven't spent much time out here, but <laughs> once it's fully dialed in, we're going to be here all yeah, the time. Yeah, it might be worth just, like, AFKing without running the farm overnight, you know, just so it can pick that up. As it stands, though, I'm I'm not entirely convinced. Like, this is this is a very, like low spawn rate it's it feels like it'll take a long time to pick up i think you want to try it again after you've afk'd here overnight for that local difficulty yeah that makes sense i'll bring some more and uh... maybe maybe bring like 12 or 15 with you that time i yeah. mean this happened to me i i had i had it you know it looked good and then all of a sudden it kind of stopped working for whatever reason all right well uh, a partial success i think for now we've uh, tested it out and it seems to do the job we just need a few more zombies over here so that it can be yeah. running perpetually. With Azuma gone back to Hermitopia, I decided to try and big brain it, gathering enough snowballs that I could comfortably throw them at our remaining drowned in the hope that dealing no damage but still hitting him would spawn a bunch of reinforcements. I got one reinforcement out of that deal and unfortunately very few more materialized, so I went back to plan A and transported a bunch more zombies name tagged or holding items from our zombie spawner near the end portal. And this time I decided to put boats on the entry platform to the end. And to my great delight, that actually turned out really well. I didn't end up taking too much damage, barely needed to hold that totem in my offhand and we were away. And from that point, after getting familiar once again with how to use the farm, it got a little more productive.
This thing's running. This yes. thing's up and running. <laughs> <laughs> it's been going very well, as you can hear, probably. Yes. Um, I've got my mob sounds turned all the way down at this point because this thing is Same here. deafening <laughs> when it gets going. I had no idea. But I ran it a little bit for a, a day or two, just like in mornings and evenings and stuff. Uh, and mm -hmm. I took a bunch of copper back already. So this is not absolutely everything we've been able to gather from this farm. But wow. I just have all of that in my inventory. So that first chest now has... Basically everything that I've just got from this session. Uh, <laughs> this Very thing is good. a this thing is a beast. I noticed that you've uh, you've made a circle up there. Like, there's so many zombies in that one spot. When you look at them, they, <laughs> they like form a circle. They with form their a arms. perfect circle. That's so great. Like, yeah, wow. it's it's pretty funny. I, I had this running. I actually culled a couple of them recently. Uh, so so this thing, yeah, has has produced a lot. I did have to restart it once because I think I left too few of them in there to restart ah. it again once I came back or maybe like they hadn't picked up enough items and they despawned when I left or something but when you when you say restart do you mean like bring zombies again yeah yeah I had to bring them like a, th a third ah, time okay. but uh as I told you off camera it works so much better if you put a bunch of boats down on that obsidian platform when you enter yeah. the end because then they all they get trapped and like I haven't even needed totems or anything I barely took damage the last time I did it so I've got, I've got it down to a fine art now Nice, that's great. But no, this thing is spectacular, and uh, I've got you to thank for that. So obviously, <laughs> I assume. Well, you... I mean, Ian, Ian X04. Did well, most yes, of the yeah. To be yeah. <laughs> to be fair, but but for I mean, building like this, ninety nine percent. Yeah, <laughs> for building this on the server, though, obviously, like, come by, take some copper, whatever you need, and um, feel free to use the copper aging machine. In fact, if you want to go and check that out now, we can probably give it like a a full load of copper, and while I'm doing base work, it'll all start aging. Have you done Have you done like an overnight session yet, or is it just like a few hours? Here and no, there. I've I've honestly I've been afraid to be honest, X. <laughs> I've been afraid to leave this thing alone. I know it doesn't have as much of an impact on the server, but I don't know how our server is set up, so I didn't want to risk it. You know, it's supposed to be self-regulating, mm -hmm. so it will run without like going crazy, but it will drag the performance down while it if it gets yeah. like overheated, let's say. And you recommended what? that I just make a tiny like you know 240p Minecraft instance and just leave it running in the corner of a window. So that's what I've been doing. That's for your own computer. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> very helpful. Hey, it's hello. Good thing I got wings and rockets. <laughs> yes, fancy seeing you here. So uh, yeah, hop on down and we'll we'll load this thing up. Thanks for the stone and dirt, by the way. It, I might need to pinch a bit more stone if that's okay. Oh, that's totally fine. And look, the uh, the stuff that we loaded up at the beginning of this episode has now come back. So this is all fully oxidized from just me hanging around here. Oh, we only loaded up the one though, right? Yeah, because I only had that much like regular copper left, and it's all cut copper that I made by accident. So uh, that just needed to needed to age but now uh i've got some blocks here that you gave me and if you oh, want to yeah. if you want to go around just load up uh, nine blocks on each side from the yellow wool uh back to where the slime block is and uh just hit the button when you've loaded it up and then it'll be sent down oh the yes that's right hit the button i was just thinking oh i don't want to accidentally put in more than i should having an entire room of copper aging at once is so satisfying so uh yeah this farm has been <laughs> quite the experience and now we've got so much of this this is great yeah, you're gonna be down here a lot <laughs> i think so i think so but like that was the whole point of this machine to begin here. with and uh you know the hermits are welcome to use this if they want to because i know it's it, otherwise it's just placing copper by hand all day and that's always been a pain for me i haven't done much of it myself i really haven't done a crazy amount of building with copper yeah and i think that's part of why as well like wanting to build with it at its full age or at whatever age you want, because really you can just use an axe on it a couple of times and get it back to the, you know, weathered copper or, like, yeah. exposed copper or whatever it is, you know? Let's see if any of this started aging. I expect some of it will have. Like, it's actually quite quick once you get it split up like this. I wonder if there's room for, like, you detect, because you've got a counting system. Mm -hmm. If you could take your counting system, pull out some signals and use some redstone to create, like, lamp indicators somewhere. Um, so, like somewhere else in your base you can just have lamps that tell you oh that segment of the machine is is done like, you know, come get your copper i have considered it it doesn't leave the copper where you placed it it leaves it like a little bit offset like over here because yeah. of the the fly machine basically reverses on the way back so maybe if i had like a redstone torch here and then yeah. a couple of like I was just thinking lamps about above that. it yeah what what's amazing about redstone is like figuring out uh, like event order and mm -hmm. this is kind of like programming right because you could write some big complex code to detect oh that all the blocks come back but actually we need to do is just detect it in that one position right yeah because it's unique to the uh end event 
Yeah, that, I think that's really cool. Um, <laughs> I think you should totally do that. Like, get, get it so like you got a control panel somewhere else in the base. Yeah, yeah. Like, the initial one of these in Empire Season 1 had... Like, what I was planning on doing was having, like, a single button that launched the entire room. And, like, little bits and pieces like that where I could do everything from a central point. And the only problem with that was that if... I loaded all of the machines up, there was a chance that one of the copper blocks might be, like, mischievous and age before I got it into the system, and then that, like, yeah. offset all the counters. But having something that shows it's returned, like, makes sense. Yeah, like you said, that can happen already, right? Like, um... If it, like, ages if, twice. If one just ages <laughs> twice by mm -hmm. mistake or whatever, you know, it can... Does that does that stop, stop the thing from coming back out? Yeah, it does, but then, like, if... <sighs> If you notice that one of them hasn't returned, then you can just go down the line and hit the little yeah. button on top of the calcite, and that's really the fix for it. See, it'd be nicer if it broke in the other direction, where, like, it would come out, but there would be, like, one that wasn't fully aged, because mm -hmm. then it's less of a hassle. It's like, well, I'll break all the others and leave that one there or something, you know? Yeah. One of the other suggestions that I've had is to have some kind of, like, master timer running behind the scenes, so that, like, once you get to the point where there's no way it shouldn't have aged... <laughs> By a certain yeah, a certain point, like yeah, with a really slow like daylight sensor based clock or something like that. But I think the problem with stuff like that is that you you're then relying on the clock running, and if you're outside of random tick range, but you're still within redstone tick range, the counter might be counting, but the copper can't age still. So you might still end up yes. with a lot of a lot of false positives. There's so much engineering that goes into stuff like this, and this is really the first cool. project where I've had to think about all of this. There's an opportunity right there to create a clock that's based on tick updates. Mm -hmm. How you would make that consistent, I don't know, because yeah. those things are supposed to be random, <laughs> right? right? But yeah, surely yeah. there's some something in the game that I, might do that. I think the best way to do it might be with like sampling of some kind, like having another like a random selection of these counters all linked up to another circuit which maybe says okay well if this one this one this one and this one are all fully aged then surely the rest of the room is too kind of thing but again yeah like i've, I've already engineered it so there's a counter next to every single block so it, it it's it's kind of a different sort of approach it's the kind of thing that would i, I could do this for the rest of my life x like I, I could genuinely iterate on this machine for a very very long time that's you know that's a beautiful thing though like about redstone is that if you do that, if you keep working on it, you'll learn skills and concepts that can be applied to other farms and things. It's a yeah, the whole thing. The yeah, redstone yeah. world. I've I've already I think learned more about redstone troubleshooting from building this a couple of times than I would have from watching like a ton of tutorials online. Because I feel like yes. the words go in one ear and out the other when I'm trying to learn it without getting my hands dirty. You know, without doing all of this stuff practically I'm, myself. I'm the same. Yeah, yeah I'm the same. You got to do it to learn it. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Well, this has been an experience, and I've built a new farm, and you've got to know this machine a little better, so uh, I think this has worked out well for both of us. Yeah, it has. Well, it's been an eventful few days on the Empire's SMP, and as you can see from my levels, I spent a little bit more time at that copper farm. Absolutely thrilled to have this much copper to work with, and maybe, maybe we can start trading it to the other folks on the server here and there as well, uh, or maybe we can start supplying people if they plan on selling it. Either way, amazing to have hung out with Azuma and Rendog today. <laughs> yes, Rendog has been in my crypt the entire time, apparently. And this isn't the only stuff I've been up to this week. I've got a whole second episode coming for you later this week in which I, Jevin, and I get up to some more stuff in the end. This has apparently been the week that all of the end farms happen. Well, hopefully you folks enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching. My name has been Pixorus. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you folks soon. Take care. Bye for now.